Hi, good morning and welcome to our Meditation on Grace. Today is the 16th of February and I'm going to read in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 until we all attain to the unit of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature adulthood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So grace has given us everything we need to grow we are not just grow as individuals, but we also grow as a body of Christ. We are growing together, as it says here, until we all attain together. Because this text is talking about the body of Christ. There's nothing worse than a church full of children. I mean, spiritual children. There's nothing wrong with the children. because, Or even babies. Because a baby is very dependent on, uh, on, uh, his, on his parents. Uh, they cannot. He can. A baby cannot cook for himself. A baby cannot work to gain uh, to get some money. A baby cannot cannot reproduce himself. So Paul is telling this church that uh, it is important for them to grow, to become a mature man in Christ, to be able to to share the good news, to be able to reproduce themselves. We are going to see a text in. Uh, Colossians chapter 1, 9 to 10, where Paul is praying for the church of Colossians. It's one of those prayers from the, from the prison. Uh, verse 9, for this reason, from the day we heard about you, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in our spiritual wisdom and understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So in order to bear fruit, they have to grow. When we moved to this village called Urt here in the Basque country, we, I brought with me from Bayona, where we used to live, a, a plant, a, a pot, where um, I had a plant in the balcony, and uh, more of a tropical plant that, that can uh, grow here. And uh, a seed was dropped in the, in the, pot, in the pot by, um, uh, by a, a bird, I think. And then a, a fig tree grew there. So when I came here, I just planted the plant with the fig tree in the garden. And the fig tree is about one, one meter now, high now, even higher than that now. But it's still not bearing fruit because it's still a, a baby fig tree. It's waiting to come to, to a, 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 a statue of mature tree to be able to bear. Children want to bear. I'm talking about the spiritual things here. So we need to grow in order to bear fruit. And Paul is saying here that it's... Uh, when they grow in the wisdom and understand of God's will, that they will be, uh, they will walk in a worthy way of of the Lord, and then they're going to be pleasing to Him, and they will bear fruit. First Corinthians chapter thirteen verse ten. But when, but when what is complete comes, the partial will be set aside. He, Paul is talking here to about love, the love of God. And he's saying that love is complete. And sometimes we live in a partial Christian sort of Christian life. It's not the real thing. Because we haven't grown in the knowledge of Christ. And when you don't grow, you don't bear fruit. That's why it's so important to, to grow. For Second Peter verse 1 uh, verse um, chapter one, verse eight, uh, five to eight. For this reason, for this very reason, make every every effort by your f by your faith to produce virtue, by virtue knowledge, by knowledge self control, by self control stead steadfast fastness by steadfastness goodness by goodness godliness by godliness brotherly affection and by brotherly affection agape love for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure they will make you eff effective and produ productive in your knowledge of our lord jesus christ 
Yesterday, I was looking at some pictures of, uh, of uh, my family when we were on holiday in Italy, visiting some missionary friends from Brazil. And, um, and uh, with Susan, we said, wow, how cute our girls were. They're very little. And we went up on the mountains with these friends from Brazil, these missionaries uh, in the center of Italy. And uh, we were walking in the snow, playing in the snow on the mountains in that beautiful part of Italy. Uh, it's hard to find that part in Italy that's not beautiful, isn't it? So they were so cute. And our friends there, they have the two boys and they have grown as well. All went to college, to university. Because it's natural for children to grow, though they are so cute. Fortunately, we have pictures today to look at them and say, wow, how cute they were. And some of our churches, they are full of cute Christians, but they remain cute like that forever and ever. And that's not normal. And that's not natural. In, in Ephesians chapter 4, he is going to say that we need to grow in the knowledge of Christ, so we want to be like children, spiritual children. I remember them when, when I was a pastor in another part of France, I used to look after these two churches because they, have, they, they didn't have pastors then. And then I went there from time to time to preach. And one day this lady came to see me and said, are you the pastor of that church in that uh, town? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, there is a person in your church that I don't like. I said, oh, what happened? And she said, 30 years ago, he promised that he was going to take me home after the service. And he forgot. And I haven't forgiven him since. Can you imagine living 30 years waiting to forgive someone? Just because the person forgot, left, forgot to take that, that lady home? She was over 80 when she said that. She's dead now, of course. But she spent all those years not forgiving her brother just because he forgot her at the church. That's a childish thing to do. Because when you don't forgive, that becomes a burden for you and you carry it for the rest of your life. So we have to grow. We have to grow, to love, to forgive all the time. God bless you.